Now we need to write the value of each digit. So first we have the number 4,052,160. The 4 is in our millions place value, so stands for 4 million. That's 4 with 6 zeros on the end, because notice in our number, after the 4, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. Now, this 5 is in our 10 thousands, so that stands for 50,000. That's 5 with 4 zeros on the end, because we can see that in our number, after the 5, we have 4 digits. The 2 is in our thousands place value, so the value of the 2 is 2,000. The 1 is in our hundreds place value, so that represents 100. The 6 is in our tens, so that stands for 60. Now we also have zeros in this number, but here we didn't need to write the value of the zeros, and that's because whatever place value they're in, the value of the zero is always zero. So this zero here is in our hundred thousands place value, but because zero times a hundred thousand is still zero, the value of the digit is still zero. Now we have 8,504,297. So first we need to find the value of the two. That's in our hundreds place value, so stands for 200. Now the four is in our thousands, so that's 4,000. The 7 is in our 1s, so that just stands for 7. The 8 is in our millions, so that's 8 million. 8 with 6 zeros on the end, because we have 6 digits or 6 place values after the 8 in our millions. The 9 is in our 10s, so that's 90. And the 5 is in our 100 thousands, so that's 500 thousand. 5 with 5 zeros on the end because we have five digits after the five that's in our hundred thousands. Now we have 2,638,041. The six is in our hundred thousands, so that's 600,000. Six with five zeros on the end, because we have five digits after the six. The eight is in our thousands, so that's 8,000. The 2 is in our millions, so that's 2 million, 2 with 6 zeros on the end. The digit 1 is in our 1's place value, so that just represents 1. The 4 is in our 10's, and 4 10's make 40. And the 3 is in our 10 thousands, so that's 30,000. 3 with 4 zeros on the end, because we can see that after the 3, we have four digits in our number.